We welcome all you to come to Open Art this Sunday. You have been so faithful, brought off all the way to this Sunday, and we see each and other. So I would say welcome to the world. Thank you. At this time, we will call Ma Felicia to give us a song ministration. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to each and every one. Uh, Mother's Day. Since it's Mother's Day, and I just want to sing one of our songs for women's ministry. And women, we serve and we serve as unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Emma, 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 Nina Ramu, Nina Emma, 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 Emma,
forgiving us this day. Amen. And our song is, What shall I render? Until the opportunity for us all, especially the women, because some of us will be receiving it <laughs> from our children and then from our husbands. Amen. Amen. First, I will just thank God for this great opportunity that he has given me to stand in front of his holy people and to share the word of God. Amen. Amen. And the second gratitude goes to my father and my father in the Lord. He is two fathers to me. Amen. Amen. He is my biological father and then my father in the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we give praise to God and to the man of God for giving us this opportunity. And to everyone over here, my MC, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Okay, so today... We are going to look up to who is a mother. When we talk to a mother, who is a mother? A good mother for the first place. So he said, a good mother is someone who is nurturing. Someone who is nurturing, caring, and takes care of her children, not biologically alone, and then her family and her friends. Amen. Amen. So today we are celebrating mothers over here, not knowing that we have great responsibilities, not only the gifts, that when it gets to Mother's Day we will be expecting, but we have great, great responsibilities in our families and then in the Lord. Amen. So today we are going to look up to who is a mother, the qualities of a mother, and the responsibilities of a mother. Amen. Amen. So... 
my scripture which I love so much. And then during the week, my hereditor told me that I would be giving some ministration, so I was preparing. And then when I was preparing, this scripture came to mind. Proverbs chapter 31, the verse 10 going. And my song, I would love to sing it. Amen. Amen. It said, Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All his wonderful passion and purity. All thou spirit divine, all my nature refined till then the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All his wonderful passion and purity. Oh, thou spirit divine, all his, all my nature refined. Till then, the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Women, we always polish our outward appearances, and it's very, very important. But how about the beauty and the nature of Christ in us? So a good mother, in Proverbs chapter 31, let's read the verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that she shall have no need of spoil she will do him no she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life she seeks wood and flax and works willingly with her hands she is like the merchant's ship she brings her food from afar she rises also while it is yet night and gives meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considers a field and buys it. With fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. She guards her loins with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceives that the, the merchant's mechanics is good. Her candle, does, her candle goes not out by night. She lays her hands to the spindle, and her hand holds the sister. She strengthens out her hands. She stretches out her hands to the poor. Yeah, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow of her household, for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes herself covering of tapestry. She, her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gate when, she sit, when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes fine linen and sells it and delivers girdles unto the merchant. She strength, strength and honor are her clothing and she rejoices and she rejoice in all in times to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is of the law of kindness. She looks well to the way of her household, and eats not the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, he and he praised her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou exceedest them all. Favor is deceitful. And beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day, and we give you all the praise. As your word is coming, come and take control and touch the hearts of your people. 
so that we shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So when we look at the Proverbs chapter 31, the verse 10 down was, I will, as I was reading, one thing I took in this scripture is the beauty of this woman. Not the physical beauty alone, because the Bible talks about her that she works vigorously, meaning that she stressed herself. She's going so much stress and so much trouble. But this woman was the most beautiful woman in the Bible. Amen. Amen. Because she has the qualities to be a mother. She has the qualities to be the wife. And are we having the same qualities? I lack some of them. And I don't know how about you. But today, as the word of God is coming, let's put it on our heart. And then let's search inwardly so that we will lack nothing. Amen. Amen. So the top qualities of a good mother, he said, be a good role model. Are we role models? We have to be a role model to our children. Because we are nurturing them, not our children alone. Because me, before I became a mother, I was a grandmother. Before I became a mother. And I remember three years ago when I came here, at first, it was Mother's Day like this. And I cried throughout because I wasn't having a child. But we shouldn't do that. My faith was so little. I was thinking that my faith was so low that God cannot do it or what? God can do it. And after you have it, you think that it's just something simple that you can do it within a twinkle of an eye. God will give it to you. And you yourself who were crying for children, you will still say, God, why? Why this stress? Why am I going through all this? Because children come with responsibilities. And we have to grow before we get there. I wasn't grown enough. I was thinking that though I am married for four years by then and no child. So I was just crying, not knowing that I wasn't grown enough to handle children. Even the time God gave me, I was still crying because I have no help. I will be crying. I will be crying here and there. But if God gives you this, he has entrusted a jewel into your hands to care for that child, to bring that child up. So we should be a good role model to our children. What are we teaching the children in the house? Children does not always follow what we say to them. I have noticed my child, things that I have never even told her, she will be saying it. So I'll be wondering that, how did this child able to say this word? Because he has been listening to me. They watch us day in, day out. So if you start insulting your husband in the house, insulting people around you, when somebody calls you and insult the person, when your child grows up, he or she will do the same thing. If you rise up and come to the church, your child will do the same thing. My mother, my grandmother, was somebody who always sweeps the church. She was this, doing the same thing in the church of Pentecost. She will rise up early, sweep the church, even the cemetery. My grandmother will go there, read that place, and then clear there whenever it is, it is weedy. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay. So my mother also, I realized that my mother was doing the same thing. My mother would be going early in the morning to the church and she would be sweeping everywhere. So I also grown up. I realized that my mother has been rising up at 4 a.m., going to the church to sweep. So I also get up and follow her. By then, I didn't even know Christ. I have not received Christ yet, though I'll be following my mother. But I don't know Christ for myself. But I'll be following my mother, going here and there. By the time I became born again, I became stronger than my mother. So I'll be going to church where my mother will be at home. She'll be like, nowadays you surpass me. So whatever we are doing in the houses, in our workplace, whatever we say, we are being role models for our children. So if you want your children to be great in the future, try nurturing him or her now. Do what you, you want him to do. If you want your son or your child, your daughter to be respectful, then you have to respect others around you. Your child will be seeing everything. Amen. 
this woman in Proverbs chapter 31, she was doing the same thing. She was doing the same thing. And you see, at the end, he said their children, her children rise up. They didn't rise up in, in, in a blue of a moon. Whatever they say it, I don't know. My English is not good. Please, don't mark me with drama. <laughs> I beg. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, her children, her children rise up and then call her blessed. Now, some of the mothers, they are just praising us. They are just, uh, the children are just praising the mothers because everybody is saying Happy Mother's Day. But what has your child learned from you that has benefited him or her life? We have to take a look at that. We should be respectful. If you want our children to be respectful, we have to. We have to respect not even the older people because now some of us, we are grown. So uh, all we know, people around us are younger than us. So we rather command respect from them, not knowing that we have to set something that the children will know that mm, this is how we do it. A mother should be a hard worker, hard working mother. You know, American here, I don't know. We are all hard working because even if you are not, when you come here, you change. No matter how lazy you are, you will change. Because that of Proverbs 31, that woman rise up early, early in the morning. Here, we don't see it though. But however your time may be that you wake up in the morning, or however you work, your schedule may be, you still have to work with vigorous hands. Even if you are tired, sometimes you realize that our husbands feel so tired and they want us to, I mean, pamper them. But when we are tired, they don't because it's our responsibilities. They see that we have to be submitted to them. We have to submit to them always. So our responsibility is to work no matter what. Clean the house. We are tired though, but we can do it. It is a part of our responsibility. At first, I'll be like murmuring. I will tell my husband, why are you not helping me? Why are you not helping me? The children will be crying and you will be sleeping. I will be the one carrying the children. But pastor told me something. Men's ego. And I kept it in my pocket. <laughs> God bless you, Papa. <laughs> Men's ego. They have something that you, you should not look down on them. They are superior in nature. And they are our heads that we need to submit. And then I realized that, mm, then it is my responsibility, whether he helps me or not. We have to do it. Whether your husband is around or he's not around, do your responsibility as a woman, and God will bless us one day. He said her works, not even her husband and the children will praise her at the end of the day, but her works shall praise her. Amen. Amen. We should be supportive. Supportive and loving. We should support our husbands. Uh, they have visions. You know, men carry so much vision that they need to accomplish. But God, in the Garden of Eden, saw that Adam has so many potentials that he needs to explore. But Adam could not without a woman. Though we are the weakest vessel in nature, but we are the strongest when it comes to supporting men and people around us. We can do it. Though it's hard, at times, but we can still do it. We should support their aims, their visions. If your husband has a vision of becoming somebody, just drop yourself home. At times, we have to drop ourselves. and drop our intelligence. If you are intelligent, it doesn't mean that you have to go higher always. You have to back up. Let him explore. Let him do what he can do best. Then you support him with what you can. And God will never leave us alone. Amen. Amen. We should be patient. We go through a lot. And at times, without patience, huh? huh? I'm the first. Sometimes you will breathe, feel like the world is coming to an end. It's not like the end time is coming, but you feel like everything is crashing down on you. That time, we need to exercise patience, knowing that patience comes on with victory and other things that the Bible talks about. 
we should be forgiveful. Forgiveness. At times, Duncan Williams said something that I, it keeps ringing in my mind all the time that when we don't forgive, it's like we are judging that person. Because you feel like everything, you are angry. You feel like this person is doing something against me. So in your heart, you are reporting that person. You are judging that person to God without your notice. So we should be forgiveful. Forgiveness take hold of our lives. And then with forgiveness, we can persevere. Amen. Amen. So as a good woman, we want to be Christ-like. Like the women who visited the tomb, as my husband was saying this morning. That the men were sleeping. Meaning why? They realized that this is the prophecy that Jesus said. That on the third day, I will rise up again. Look, so this woman realized this prophecy. And they woke up early in the morning to see whether the prophecy is true. Women always want to see something. So sometimes we, we, we do whatever things that is not needed of us. Because we always want to see what is behind that thing. And women... With that character, we can go far. Amen. Amen. If a woman stands up, if your husband is weak in the spirit, rise up. Because the men carry so many visions. They think a lot. They think of how to make their home a happiest home. They think of how to buy a house. They think of how to uh, make their children have something in the future. So they will be doing all sorts of things. And they forget the spiritual power. So at times, we need to back them with prayers. That is why the Bible says that when one falls, the other one will pick him up. So we have to be supportive in that way, prayer and everything. Ruth and then Naomi, there's something in the Bible. And now we are recounting on what they did. Naomi was somebody that the husband died, leaving him two children. And then the two children also died, leaving the two in-laws. And these two in-laws claimed to Naomi. But you know what? The other one persevered, and the other could not. The other one could not persevere. So we need to persevere in our times. Ruth and Naomi, they went through a lot. Naomi went through. Can you imagine you lost your husband, and the two sons that you are looking up to also died? Look at how sorrowful you will be. But this woman was so strong. Though her faith was shaking because of the pain and the anguish that she has went through. But Ruth stood by this woman. Can we be Ruth in the Bible? A good friend? Can we be somebody like that? A good friend to your children? A good friend to your husband? We need to. We need to. We need to. And then as women, we need to set boundaries at times. We, you know, sometimes the, uh, the husbands, they are not home. They are always busy out there. But we need to set boundaries for the children. We have to teach them the good and the bad. We have to set boundaries and know that, you know, sometimes the children does not fear us. I have noticed it. But in my, when, with my mother and my father, I realized that we the children, we fear our mother more than our father. Why? Our father will always pamper us. He is not somebody that cares of what you wear outside, no. He will even buy it for you. But my mother will call you, come back and change it. You know, so some, it's like the women, we have to set boundaries for the children. Amen. Amen. So that we all will live in peace and then we need to pray with them. Pray with the kids. When you put your children to sleep, do you pray for them? They will be having nightmares, they can't tell you. Some of the children are going through a lot in schools, but they cannot tell their mother because their mother does not have time for them. We have to set quality time, spend quality time for our children. You know, you might not have every time to spend with them because you have to pay your bills, I understand. But you know, the few minutes, let the children know that I am here. Let the children know that you care for them. Let the children know that I am your mother. I can take care of you. Spend time to, for the kids. When they ask you something, relax and then explain it to them so that they can cling to you. 
and then the glory of God will be upon these children. Remember that we are raising the future generations and we cannot do it with our strength. A woman should be fervent in prayers. You have to pray. I listened to one woman of God in Nigeria. I can't remember her name. She's the one woman that stood like, she stood like a lion. She said, I have set a line. She's older. She can relax and then depend on the children to feed her. But she said, no. I have set so many alarms, like three, four, five alarms within a day. When this alarm set, I know I'm going to pray for my husband. When this alarm set, I know I'm going to pray for this child of mine, that child of mine, that business, that company. I have to do this. I have to do that. So though she's not doing so much physically, like working with her hands, but she's working in the spirit for the children. You know, some of the children, the children who are presidents, do you know what their parents did for them? You don't know. The children who are doctors. Some children go through a lot. Convulsion. They go through a lot. Pain. Sorrows. And then they, they, they struggle a whole lot. Because their mothers are sleeping. The husband cannot do everything. But the little that we can do, we have to do it. The verse 20. Proverbs 31, the verse 20. It says... She stretches out her hands to the poor. Yeah, she reach forth her hands to the needy. Do we do same? When somebody's child is staying with us, we give the best to our children and little to them. We have to stretch forth our hands. No matter our earnings may be, we need to be given because God gave. God is the first mother in the world. God gave to us. He gave his only, the only that God has. He gave. And the woman that when Jesus was preaching, gave the all she had into the bowl. That woman also gave her best. So we need to give all in all. Give to people. As we support our family, we know that some people are there who are also hungry. That we need to care for them. If you are doing all this, and some women will say that my husband will not allow me to do this, do that, do that. You know, the Bible says we need to be submissive though. But if you do your responsibilities in the house, I don't think your husband will stop you giving out there. Amen. We not doing it home. So that when we are giving everything out, the men will be scared that my, my wife is not supporting me. She's giving everything outside. And it's true. We need to do our responsibilities home before we give to others. Amen. Amen. He said, nurturing the responsibility. Who is the mother? Nurturing. Others' children, your children, and people around you. Somebody might be older than you, but you can still nurture that person. We nurture We nurture people and then care. Caring and takes care of her children, her family, and her friends. People around her. We need to do that. And then God will bless us. This is the end of our message. Hallelujah. God bless you, Daddy. <laughs> For giving me this opportunity. Amen. 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 Thank you. What do we say to our sister? God bless you. God bless you. At this point, shall we rise and have a prayer, a little prayer, to be touched by the word, to be like the woman in the Bible, so that mothers will all be Christ-like. Shall we close our eyes? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the word. We thank you for the vessel. I know you are the one who speaks through her. We pray at this moment to touch our hearts and change our mind. Whatever we are doing that is wrong, Father, we pray that you bring us closer to you and teach us what we're supposed to do. And let our children learn from us. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful word. And we pray to be in accordance with the word. Thank you, Jesus. And may God bless you all. Amen. Amen. 
at this point, we will open the floor for the men in the house to say a little about their wives, their mother, whatever message, whoever will come to the floor, the floor is open. Okay. And if you all don't show up, I'm going to call names. <laughs> Thank you, Brad Thomas. Happy Mother's Day to uh, all the women in the house. Amen. Even if you are not, even if you don't have a baby yet, Happy Mother's Day to you in advance. Just hold on to that faith and believe that God will bless you with that precious gift. Um, I'm not married yet, but I have some special women in my life. Not just my biological mother alone. Every woman that I've come across um, in my life since I was born um, has been a blessing in my life. A lot has been learned from them as well. And as Sister Ruth um, said earlier on, um, kids don't listen. They rather watch you and pick up the pieces from there. The reason why I'm recalling this is because it's something that I have personally experienced since um, I was a kid. Now I do listen. <laughs> Now I listen, but I remember when I was a kid, I just look at you and based on what you're doing, I will follow that footsteps. Sometimes people ask me, how did you get to know how to cook? I watch my mom. Because from school, I, I was in a boarding school since I was three years. But whenever I come home, my mom makes sure that she gets her, she gets me, I'm the only son, me to the kitchen to help cut onion do this, do that, make your bed first thing in the morning. Then it's a Saturday morning, you have to clean the house, like general cleaning, clean everywhere, the bathroom, the corridors, everywhere. So this helped me as, as a son, pick up those pieces. And even in school, the um, our seniors, especially the females, will come in. It's morning time, you guys have to sweep, you have to do this, you have to do that. All those help. But back in school, we used to have our school mothers and school fathers. We all, I picked all those pieces from them. So um, to sum it up, I want to say a very big thank you to all the women here and to my lovely mom back in Paris um, and to all the women on the globe. Remember that God loves you. You are so special. And without you, I would say men are nothing. That, that, that's the honest truth, because that's how women um, were made by our Creator, to help and support the home. As a man, we cannot do it alone without you. So God bless you. May he let his favor be your portion, move you from grace to growth, from grace to grace, sorry, and lighten your path, and may all your heart desires come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you, Brother Thomas. Who is next? Okay. Amen. Pastor the God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the women over here. Amen. God will you bless you and continue to revive you in the spirit that the help that he has charged you to help us. We will reach at its peak. Amen. Indeed, women are women. Maybe because we get everything over here on the silver platter, people will not understand the vitality of a woman. But the scripture let us understand that after creating everything, God saw that everything was good. After creating man, He even saw everything was good. And what happened? There was one thing that was women. So I don't take women for granted. Looking back home, see my ma my mother, go to farm with my father, with all the responsibilities. You go to farm, the man will be doing the weeding, 
the woman will be doing the cooking and not only just the cooking she needs also help in the weeding at times we have some strengthful women who will be weak more than the men afterwards she will, she will carry a firewood with his kid come home that doesn't end there she comes home she prepares food and that doesn't end there in fact her responsibilities is 24 7. so women are very important and it's a very 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 unfortunate that we don't know the, the excellence and the importance of women that day in day out they blame women to be only just the wicked person those who are, be, who are be, to be charged when they wrong in one way or the other. That is why we didn't see the man what caught when the woman was caught in adultery. The woman didn't, the man didn't follow. Why? I like think they are blaming some men who take total authority over women when it comes to that spiritual sense. But we are all human and they are there to help us. Again, God bless you, women. May God continue to strengthen you, empower you, as the ancient women of old, like Mary and Mag Mary Magdalene, who came back, came up in, in their spiritual senses to go and see their Creator alive to broadcast the news. And we believe you keep us going. God bless you all. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Apostle. We thank God and we pray that God continue to bless us and strengthen us as being a woman and a how. We say the man at the house uh, hold, but according to me, I said the woman is the household. Okay. Because when the woman is broken, the house is broken. Yeah. The man don't even don't know their left and right. <laughs> they just come home, but the woman know how to build and put things together. Put woman in your finances and everything will be okay. The men, they continue to give. But the woman, they know where to put everything. So God bless woman and continue to bless us. Amen. Amen. At this point, we shall collect our offering and tithes. and um, give us a song so that we can dance. 